Welcome to episode 177, Henry Sai, From Shu King to Ma King, 10 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 177. This is a continuation of the outline of episode 177. The father is a legendary Henry C. Lesson number one, he's a late boomer. At age 34, he opened his first shoe store after 20 years of retail experience. At age 48, he opened his first department store. At age 61, he opened his first Mecca Moore. At age 79, he became a billionaire. Lesson number two, multitasking is good. For example, 1949 to 1950, he was running a shoes business full time. He went to university and completed two year degree. He also got married. His first child, daughter Teresita, was born in 1950. Lesson number three, make your children work. Well, it sounds like child labor today, doesn't it? In the 1930s, his dad made him work long hours in the Sari Sari store. From 1958 to 1970, he made all his children's work long hours, as young as eight years old. I was selling shoes then. I guess you were born into it. So I was selling shoes when I was about eight years old. And, um, and I guess after that, then you feel obliged also to help out your parents. Were you destined to join a family business right from the start? Did your father give you a choice? There was no choice. We were all obligated. My siblings and I were all obligated to join the family business. It is just a small family business, just like any family business, where the kids are ex expected to uh, help out in the business in whatever capacity. I was the eldest, so I was the first one who entered the business, and the other siblings did the same thing. You couldn't say no? There was no way to say no. There was no choice. Lesson number four. Henry Sai's four pillars, hard work, determination, persistence, and focus. To work hard and uh, be determined, be persistent, and uh, be very focused. Lesson number five, long hours equal learning. If you don't know your job, just work long hours and you get to know it faster. You seem to have a knack for business because you quickly doubled sales in a shoe mart business. What were some of the early insights you gained from cracking the retail market? I guess I was lucky. It was not, be it was not because of my knowledge. I guess I was lucky and I worked uh, very long hours. Uh, my dad always said that if you, don't know, if you don't know your job, just work long hours and you'll get to know it fast. Lesson number six. Belief in the Philippines. Philippines has many ups and downs. In 1945, after his father's store was burned down and looted, he did not lose faith. He started from scratch again. In 1972 to 1981, during nine years of martial law, he continued to invest and expand. But in World War II, the store was looted and burned whose unwavering faith in the country and its people became the foundation for this icon of Philippine business. Lesson number seven, be a contrarian. During the financial crisis of 1998 and 2008, while other rich Filipinos held back, he did not. Lesson number eight, be brave, be the first. He opened his first air-conditioned shoe store in 1958. He built the first mega mall in the Philippines in 1985. Lesson number nine, build them big, build them beautiful. His mega malls are among the biggest and the most beautiful in the world. And its size nearly equals 70 football fields. Plenty of space for the mall's basketball courts, giant movie screen, indoor theme park, and more than 8,000 parking spots. We are currently at S10 Mega Mall in Ortigas, Metro Manila, Philippines. This is the second largest mall in the country and the fourth largest mall in the world. Mega Mall consists of two buildings connected by a bridge and it is five floors high and has a total land area of five million square feet. Its maximum capacity can hold four million people. 
That's the number 10. Here's Henry Sy's success formula. It consists of five elements. Success equal to hard work plus good credit rating plus opportunities plus readiness plus timing. Success is not just good luck. It is a combination of hard work, good credit standing, opportunity, readiness, and timing. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.